Shh, what's up, guys? <laughs> and ladies. In this video, I'm going to show you the methods that I use to crack open a Marvel Legends torso. And I'm going to also show you how you can take the old man Logan arms and put them on the Cyclops body so you can have a Scott Summers rock in the jacket. So before we get started, just wanted to give a fatty shout out to John Papa Sergio and Dave BX. They're the ones who put me onto this mod. So I was planning on trying to hunt down a jacket to put on my second Cyclops, give it that kind of 90s animated series feel. Um, and then I came across this mod and it was exactly what I was looking for. So thanks, bros. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm going to crack these two torsos. So that way I can put these jacket arms on the Cyclops body and then put the coat on there, the jacket. So that way I can have a jacket Cyclops. So what I usually do, I boil water. I've got this little pot right here. Once it starts to boil, I turn it off and I let it sit for a little bit. And then I'm going to chuck these dudes in there just to kind of loosen up the glue. And I kind of get, I get a heavy duty blade, some picks, and pliers if I need it. All right, so I'm going to drop Cyclops in there. I'll put like his leg up so that way um, I get him with the pliers. I'm burning myself. And I'll just let it sit in there just for a little bit. Not too long. And before you get started, make sure you dry off the figure. Make sure there's no water in there because you don't want that hot ass water dripping on your hands and burning the shit out of you. All right, so you can see right here. I was able to get the blade in there. So I got the blade in the side. I'm kind of just working it. Doing that at the top too. All right, so I got the seam. So let's see if I can get the crack in on the camera. Ah! And real quick, anytime you're messing with the box cutter or a knife or any sharp object, be careful. Make sure your hands aren't anywhere where if you slip, you're going to cut your fucking finger off. All right? So just be careful. Pay attention. All right? Ha <laughs> Boom. So pop this side. Crack that. And I just got to get this part. And see how that cracked. Easy. No damage, really. Boom. Just like that. Does. Okay, this Logan one is really easy to crack. I just uh, put the blade in under the armpit, and this side just popped open. This side, uh, you can see I accidentally cut into it, because it since it's so soft, it cut into it a little bit. But I can fix that really easy. But you just got to be careful, since the plastic's soft, you can cut through it. So you just want to pretty much push the blade down the line, and then it'll just separate on its own. Like this one popped off like no breakage. Sometimes these pegs will break off in the holes. There's no breakage. All right, so we're reassembling him. So let me take this out real quick. You can see that this the pin is different than the Cyclops one. It has more uh, the wheel has more ridges on it, and it's bigger than this one. So it goes in these little slots. I had put some of this tape in the slot so that way it's kind of stays tight. You don't want it loose. This one has it built in. You see, this is where it guides in. It has it built in already. These are separate little discs that pop out. So you want it nice and tight in there. So that's what I did. Just put a little bit of that tape just so it'd be tight so it doesn't get loose over time. And then before you reassemble, just make sure you have all the pieces. This one doesn't have the, uh, sometimes they have like a little ab crunch thing. This one has it within the, uh, within the abs. So just make sure that you got the neck pin in there, for the, the ball joint for the neck. You got everything, because once you glue it, you're done. So I'm just going to put some glue around the edges, pop it on, and we good to go. And in case you guys are wondering what kind of glue I use, I use this Loctite Super Glue Gel has a really strong bond and it's really easy to control. So I use it pretty much for all my customs. And I think it was Billy Mahoney that turned me on to this glue. And you can find it pretty much anywhere. I got a bunch of them at Target because they were on sale. What I'm doing with the Dremel, um, I have this little fine bit, little sander. So I'm shaving off under the armpit. 
So that way the arms will rest lower. You see how the left arm is sticking up a little bit because of the point right here under the armpit? Well, this one, see how it goes almost straight? Because I shaved it down. So I shaved this pit. And that's getting covered by the jacket anyway. So the jacket's going to come up to right here, so it's going to cover it. So there's no reason you shouldn't do that. That way, the arms will rest all the way down. Alright, and we're all done. Got the jacket on there. I swapped out the hand too, so he didn't have the double finger hand. Um, it's not really a relaxed hand, but I don't know, I think it looks better than him just chilling on vanilla with the double finger pointing down. That's from a uh, Hydra Soldier. Had to heat and pop that off. So yeah, the jacket's looking good. It is a little bulky around the shoulders and then this part of the chest just because these straps and everything. Doesn't really bug me that much. And it kind of makes his shoulders look like they sit a little bit low. Just because how poofy it is right here. But uh, that doesn't bother me at all. I also added a wash on the blue. Like on all the muscle to kind of accentuate the sculpt a little bit. As well as um, all the pouches and straps and everything. I put a little bit of a wash on there. And you definitely have to glue these down. The reasons Hasbro didn't do it, who knows. But yeah, super glue these down so they're not sliding all over the place. I also had to super glue the back because it kept coming undone. So that way, you know, it doesn't come undone when he's crunching. You have him crunching forward and everything. Alright, it's looking good. So the only other things I really wanted to do with this was paint the collar the same color as the jacket. I just don't have the same brown paint to match. So once I get that paint, I'll probably just paint it to match the jacket. So it's one fluid color. And then on the shoulders have the X logos. Um, the only thing is the cut joint is kind of at a weird spot. Um, so it might swivel and you might lose the design. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to still do that. I'm still looking into it. All right. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found it helpful. And there is a bunch of different ways to crack open the torso. But this is the way I do it. I've had the most success doing it this way. It's easiest for me doing it this way. This might not be for everybody, but it works for me. Go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can check me out on Instagram. It's punker underscore Mike. And you can check out my Facebook page, Punker Mike's Props and Dials. And we'll see you next time.